Hello everyone, this is Crystal Puduff, and I'm still playing around with the designs from this book by Taras Swardesky uh, I, that I purchased through the Ukrainian gift shop. So first I did this goose egg using um, colors that were inspired in the book and different elements that were inspired. And then I did this turkey egg, leaving a lot of the natural spots on the turkey egg. And again, doing designs that were inspired by the book. So I started with the goose and moved to the turkey. And now I'm doing a peahen egg or a peacock egg. So I'm I'm going smaller, so I guess maybe I'm trying to gear myself up to do a chicken egg. I didn't really think I could, felt comfortable doing a chicken egg with those amount of details, but with each one I'm feeling a little more confident, which is, I find interesting because usually when I do a large egg with a, a new pattern, with like a an ostrich egg or a rhea egg, I will test it on chicken eggs and then goose eggs, kind of moving my way up. This now I'm kind of moving my way down. It's kind of interesting. So this is a pea hen egg, and I don't know if, how well you can tell from the video, but it's kind of a creamy color. Uh, it's got a little bit of speckling on it, and what I have learned from experience is that the dye doesn't take well over the the outer shell. It's not as strong as the enamel on like a rhea or um, an ostrich egg, but there is a little bit of something, uh, outer coating enamel, I'm not sure what it is, and, and I, I do like that the color is a little uneven, so I tried to preserve a bunch of that with some, uh, with the wax, and so what I need to do now is put this in the cleaning vinegar until I can get it to the white part of the shell. I'm probably not going to do any design with the white because it'll look too close to this, but then I'll dye it yellow. But I have to get off, I have to get it to where it looks white before I can dye it. Otherwise, like I said, the dye just doesn't take real well. That I did, in, uh, the first one I did kind of had that issue with it. And uh, so learn by experience. It, it turned out okay, but it was very pastel looking and I couldn't get the deep vibrant colors and I definitely want deep vibrant colors for this one. Not exactly sure what color combinations I'm going to use yet. I kind of have an idea in my mind. I am going to start with yellow and then I don't know if I'll go greens or reds. I haven't decided yet, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to do yellow first and then I'll make that decision. All right, we'll be back with the egg dyed yellow. So I'm trying to do a better job of remembering to show you the egg in the various stages uh, better than I did on the turkey egg. So this is a pea hen egg in its natural state. This is kind of what I started with. And this is what it looks like after I have etched it. So it was one minute in the cleaning vinegar. I washed it off, looked at it, and then um, I put it in for another minute just to make sure I got down to the layer that I wanted, and, and I did. Now, I am going to let this rest um, until tomorrow, just because it's been through some stress and I want it to have time to just calm down before I start dyeing it. So I'm not gonna put any wax on this color because I don't, you know, you can see they're kind of similar. So if I put wax on it, you probably wouldn't notice the contrast. So I'm going to dye this in the yellow and then after I've let it rest and then I will start waxing the yellow parts. Here is our pea hen egg. I dyed it in the yellow uh, for three minutes and then I took it out and then I dyed it in the gold because I wanted to make sure I had a contrast between the original color, that creamy color, and the yellow. So I have added wax to all the areas I want to be yellow. And I busied it up 
a little bit. And I, I like it. I like, I like the way it's going. So the next step is going to be, I'm going to put this in the pumpkin because I was going to put green on it, but I changed my mind. I mean, the reason I'm using the pumpkin is because it is an orange with a vinegar in it. So it's going to take uh, deeper than just the orange wood, which does not have the vinegar in it. But I don't want a real deep orange because the next color I'm going to use is scarlet. And then I'll make a decision if I'm going to do a dark red or a brown background. I'm still trying to decide that. Anyway, but the next color will be pumpkin. And we come back and we'll see how that looks. Let me introduce you to this beautiful orange pumpkin shade on this pisanka. I have waxed all those areas that I want to stay that color. And I will now put this in the scarlet. And I had like an epiphany of a different color I could use for the background. So I'm not going to tell you what that is in case it doesn't work. <laughs> but what I'm going to put it in now is the scarlet because I don't want the deep red. I want the the lighter, more uh, red, or more on the orangey shade, and that's kind of what the scarlet is. So that will be our next step. And it's been kind of fun. I've actually been like making up some of this as I went along. A little different for me. I usually have it more planned out. And for something this detailed, that's, uh, that's kind of a surprise for me. But I'm liking it. Really, 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 really liking it. Right, I, I have several projects going at the same time. My desk is getting a little cluttered. I had to push all this stuff back so you couldn't see it. But anyway, so here's the red color, and it's um, it looks a little orangey on camera, but it has more of a red tint to it than what you're seeing. So I have waxed all the areas that I want to stay that color, and now I'm going to put it in my final color. And I'm not going to tell you what color that is. I'm just going to come back and show you what it is. Um, because if it doesn't work, then I'll tell you what I did. If it doesn't work, I'll tell you anyway. But I want you to be surprised. All right. Okay, are you excited? Here it is. The completed Peahen Tarasso Rodesky inspired Pisanka. I used brick for the final color. It was three three-minute dips in the brick, and it turned out gorgeous. I'm so excited. So we have the pea hen egg. So we started with started with the goose egg, and then I did the turkey egg, and then I did the peahen egg and I, I love I love this progression I love using these um, also these fall type colors too especially like with the turkey and the peahen because um, of the natural color of the shell so I'll be back with some um, finish up with some pictures a close-up of this and I have one more video in this series that I'm going to do, and um, that will be next week, so stay tuned.